I love to sell stuff on Craigslist and about a month ago I did something I have never done before. I actually had a person who was in route to my house to buy an item for top dollar and I called him and said I couldn't sell it. I was too attached to it. What was that item? It was a Canon M50. Today we talk about the things that got me emotionally attached to this camera and why I think it's so great. Hey, it's Brock from Conversant and Stuff, and today we're gonna talk about why I love the Canon M50. I think the first reason is really the size. This is a tiny, tiny camera that you can put in your pocket, you can carry with you, and although it doesn't seem that much smaller than other mirrorless cameras, the size of it makes a huge difference and it's just easy to throw in your fanny pack, easy to throw in your backpack, and you'll always have a camera that takes quality shots when you need it. Along with the size, it's incredibly easy to use. You can literally throw this thing on a gorilla pod, pull it out of your bag, put it into auto video mode, and get great results. The other thing that makes this camera a joy to use is the menu system. It's extremely easy to find what you're trying to find and make that change, which is refreshing considering I go back and forth between this and the Sony. The other thing that's awesome is the screen. The flip out screen is awesome it makes it super easy to frame the shots especially when you're running and gunning and you just need to get a clip and move on the other thing that's fantastic about the flip screen is that you can actually go in and change the settings without looking at the back of the camera or using any of the dials at least the basic ones so you can just press the button and go in and make changes while you're sitting where i am right now so besides the overall package with the menu the size the screen things like that the second thing that I really love about this camera is the image quality. You're gonna get 80D quality in a tiny, tiny package since it has this same APS-C sensor. Quality of photos is phenomenal. I've used this to shoot anything from bicycle racing to, to landscapes, and it's a really, really nice image that looks great color-wise right out of the camera. On the video side, I would say that the 1080 is great. The 4K on the Canon M50 is good, but the crop factor of 1.6 makes it more challenging to use. It's just kind of a pain to have to rethink your, your lenses when you use them, so I tend to shoot most of my 4K on my Sony a7 III. So the third thing that I love about this camera is that using the M50, you fly under the radar. And what I mean by that is with the 22 millimeter pancake lens, you can take this camera around and people either don't notice it or they really don't, don't take your camera serious and they don't ask you questions and other things like that. And what makes that great is sometimes in a little sketchy situations where you might feel uncomfortable pulling out a full-size DSLR or a larger mirrorless like the a7 III, you can pull this out, you can take some candid street shots, you can just do things that doesn't get noticed. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and argue that the Canon M50 is one of the best cameras on the market. I think that it fills a niche that when it's paired alongside something like the a7 III, it, you can make a very compelling argument for it. It's rare that I become attached to technology items like cameras, phones, and laptops. But when I do, it means that there's something special. And in this case with the Canon M50, the quality of the results that you get out of a tiny package that you get for the price point, I just can't get rid of this thing. There, I am always gonna be able to find a use for it and for that reason, I'm keeping this thing forever. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support the channel. In the comments below, let me know what you use for your main and your backup body. I'm really curious kind of who like me has cameras that are very different and why. So thanks for watching.